Hello, cardboard people. So today we're opening a fashion blood product for the first time. That's going to be exciting. We have a little booster box here, and it is the set called Everfest. So not the newest, which is Uprising, but the second to newest. So that's going to be exciting for us. And while we open the product, we're going to be talking a little bit about yeah, our experiences so far, how we are liking the game. We opened a uh, classic battles. Raina versus Dorinthia here on the channel and we've been playing it a couple of times with it so we're just going to have a little bit of chat about it how it compares to magic and how it's different from it and unique because it different, definitely is a different sort of game so Jens while I open this maybe you will say what is your first impression of playing flesh and blood with our two young heroes so we only have two lives or 20 lives and we're playing some pre-constructed decks. Yeah, so we're playing the Reiner and Dorinthia decks and uh, it is in the Blitz format. So it's a fast-paced gameplay. The game takes around, I don't know, 25 to 30 minutes or so. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a fun little format that goes really fast. And um, I, I like the, the fact that you're all geared up from the start. And then as the game, game progresses, um, you're using more and more of your items and your armaments on, and stuff like that. And, and you can become a little pressed <laughs> on resources. That's at least my experience from playing the Reiner. I was in many games on the back foot and I had a hard time pitching enough uh, resources to make my attacks go up. And I did not do enough damage. So, so most of the games are just lost. So now we're going to open this Everfest and I'm going to see <laughs> if I can find some New brew cards to maybe enhance the deck a little because I think it's a little a little stale from the get go, but okay. that just it, it it might just be me being a bad pilot of the deck. Yeah, so I'm just I'm gonna say a little bit in a minute about Dorinthia. Um, for now I'm just gonna <laughs> try and focus on. Okay, so there's a little mechanologist action already there. So you're considering mechanologist and maybe ranger. Yeah, as the card here. I think the classes, uh, they look fun, and uh, I always like playing a ranger kind of class, and the uh, mechanologist just, I think the cards look awesome, that Ooh. steampunky feel to Wow, so what, this is that? pretty gorgeous. I actually don't know if this is... Um, is it a cool one? No, I think it's still a rainbow, because it's all over, and the cool fall is almost, as I understand it, Mostly on the edges okay. here, but, uh, but it's very pretty. It's an item, okay. It's a yeah. generic action, okay. Interesting. Beautiful, really beautiful. So a rare there, and another rare, and these are like our common pal and our common with foil. So I think there's one slot, the the second to last. Uh, that was the, the second to last. Yeah, that's that's some item slot. Okay. That can be amulets or items or potions. That fits or very whatever. nicely. I think yeah, that's right. That's a part of like the Everfest theme. But this is um this is actually a talisman, so that would be that would fit nicely. Um, so I have been playing Dorinthia. Um, she's fun. She's a lot of fun. I like like you said. I like the part of having. Um, my gear already, my hero all equipped and just like ready to go. It feels a lot like computer gaming, which I compared it to before. Um, I think it's fun that you start out all decked out and you sort of have to take each other down from there. There was another common foil there, a potion, and a majestic ready to roll. So majestic is one of the better um, rarities and then there's also the Legendary, and you get the Fabled. I might do a little pal all on its own. So Dorinthia, she's fun. There's a lot of go again, which I, I had to sort of figure out because the whole go again system, that's that's a little difficult. It's much like the stack in Magic. You sort of have to get used to how the different actions sort of unfold. But I, I think she's a lot of fun to play, especially if you get her mentor out um, and you get to play the Glistening Steel Blade. Now that is a lot of fun. Then she can really swing for a lot of damage. Yeah, that's okay, really These cards are so beautiful. This is really one of the things that fascinate me about um, Fab as a whole. The art just feels so brought together and so, I mean, really nicely done and high quality. It's really beautiful. Oh, the Arcane Lantern, that looks cool. Dissolution Sphere. Okay, so we're getting some 
brute action on the Majestic, but also a little mechanologist here. That might be nice. for you. Um, and she felt, um, I don't know, like she made less impact compared to um, your Vina, but, but more quick. And I got a lot of extra attacks in. So I won uh, some of the games, and I don't really, I don't think that this owes anything to my skill of piling with her. I more think that she's just, I don't know if it's like a little unevenly matched, maybe. Yeah, I think, I think hers and is the pretty. better deck, actually. Yeah. Also because you're like, there's not that much damage, but her, her resource cost was just lower. Mm. And, and with that Mensa you had, where she got candles on the yeah, sword the and, and stuff like that. It was an outrageous amount of damage each turn, and it was really hard to defend against because at some point you was like, nah, I don't want to defend, and then you, you had some attack reaction just boosting your, your, your attack damage. Yeah, definitely. Outrageously. And it was really hard to know when am I going, when am I going to, to defend against these attacks, and when am I going to save my cards. Uh, and, and mostly I, I, I ended up defending a bit too much, I think. but. The, the damage was just insane. There's a, a little foil, the uh, nerves of steel here. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, exactly. But I also think that's part of really getting to know the game. For me, um, there's always like a thousand little decisions on which cards should I be pitching? When should I block? When should I not block to save some cards for my turn? And I think that's that's something that I will only improve on by playing some more. Um, I definitely still think that the whole, you know, which card am I pitching? I see how that later on could be like more strategic, but for now mm. I'm just, I feel like I'm pitching in blind. I'm just choosing the card I think will work right now, not necessarily, you know, thinking about how it'll work for later. Um, but I suppose that's something that you'll get better at. Yeah, and also our games were not that long, so it was not like we did to we, we had to go through our decks the second time. No, 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 no. I think most of our games ended actually before we had to go through them again. So yeah, oh, a ninja action, twin twisters, wax on. <laughs> okay, yeah, but that's it's amazing. Iconic. Like, you only have these four cards, and 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 it becomes really really tactical, even though you don't. You Extremely only have four tactical, cards. but that's what I'm saying. I feel like I should be pitching more. I don't know what to say consciously, so I know what I'm doing, but I really don't feel like I'm there yet. I don't think I can actually, you know, plan ahead to what should I be pitching. Mm. It's more like okay, I'm going to pitch this because it gives me the resources right now. Also, the whole you know different colors, like the red, the yellow, and the blue. Um, I'm still not, you know, definitely sure about how to work that to my advantage. Not yet, anyway. I just know for now, I think it's fun. It's fairly quickly paced. I mean, the games can be quite short when you're doing Blitz. Um, I would love to try it out. Okay, that's a beautiful photo. Wonder if the camera's getting that. Yeah, I actually think it is. I think that card was also in your deck. Yeah, it is, it is. Um, but yeah, but so, uh, maybe later on I'll get better at it because for now I feel like I'm just, yeah, not quite sure what I'm doing. I'm just trying to attack and be aggressive, but I'm certain that there will be solutions where it's more prudent to block some more. Okay. I just have to interrupt our little status chat to say that these cards are beautiful and the quality is really nice. I think the art is very... Um, it's very interesting. It's very clearly to see who the card is for. Like the room plate have their whole like, it's almost yeah, it you know, dark. dark, you know, sort of uh, art form here. So yeah. And also oh, those borders on the cards. There's a yeah, the mechanologist. Yeah, I really I like those that. Those borders are just it's absolutely just, stunning. And, yeah. And each class has has a different border. Have a different each class have a different border. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's just really nice and the whole like the ninja one with the twisted like pieces of fabric is it's just really it's really well thought out and it's really cool. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Is that a weapon? That's a yeah, wizard that's a weapon. that's a wizard weapon. Nice and wow, is that a mythic either weapon? One. Yeah it is. Ooh. And it's so gorgeous. I mean it's this I don't think this is maybe this is actually the cold foil because the frame is very, you know, clearly lit. It's just very, very, 
I'm trying to make it a bit more in focus for the camera. Again, help us out in the comment section. I'm not certain, but what I am certain of is it's absolutely stunning. So again, this is our first time opening a product. I have I like no card. idea. I mean, it's, to scolding. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of fun, but I have no idea. Is this, are, are we you doing know. good here? I have no, no idea. <laughs> I have like I don't. I've seen like a few openings, um, just to you know, sort of see what what are the rarities, what are the cards. But I have no idea how we're doing here. So let us know in the comment section if we're doing miserably and this is a really bad box. Just we would don't, love don't tell us. Just okay. don't tell us. <laughs> Maybe not tell us, yeah, but I would actually like to know if this is like this is just how it is, average or not, because I feel like we're getting a lot of majestics. Yeah, I also I don't heard know. that that, that Everfest said you have more majestics okay. than the other flesh okay. and blood. And we haven't even discussed this. These are paper. Yeah. Yeah, it's so different. I mean it's really interesting to open because they're just it's a very smooth, easy opening. And hopefully for you guys out there. There's not the same amount of noise as with the plastic wrappers. And, and also for the environment's sake, I'm really happy that they're actually in paper. I hate after, you know, opening an entire set that you're just tossing out a gazillion amount of plastic. But also they're really nice. You can't see Very nice and they feel see, very quality. See that they are actually made of paper. No, and they're, but they're really, uh, yeah, they're definitely, they're so nice. And I, I feel like they would protect the same amount. I also saw the professor did a video where he tested out to see if these pla you know, paper wrappers were you know, not as good as the plastic with regard to keeping the cards safe, but it seems like they were just equally as good. <coughs> so as far as I understand, Everfest is a supplemental product. So you are going to get a little bit of oh wow, pulverize. That's pretty. Look at that. Is that a majestic too? Yeah, that's a majestic wow. too. Yeah, I, I, I feel like we're doing good here. Another <laughs> majestic. Ooh. Um, yeah, but it's also a supplemental product, so you're going to get cards for a lot of the different classes. Um, whereas some of the other products are standalone, where you get a few heroes, I think, and then some some cards for each of them. So Dorinthia, she was a warrior, right? Dorinthia, she's a warrior class, yeah. yeah. Okay, so just looking for great warrior cards. Okay, I completely forgot to sort <laughs> of keep track of that. I'm just like wowing over the product. Okay, this and these talismans, they are so cool. I really like those. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, we know the game now. Then what does a talisman do? Why do you play the talisman? I have no idea. I actually have no <laughs> idea either. Is it like an instant? No, it's not an instant. It's but an item? It is an item. So People, where do we place an item? Can anybody help us? How about the magic newbies? Because we don't know where to place our talisman and other items. Oh, and then. copper. We don't have any copper in the classic battle. So what am I doing with this? Okay, so I can destroy card. it and then I can get a lot of resources. And go again. Wow, I feel like this is definitely something that's going to be useful. Okay, but we don't have those in the classic battles, so that is a new thing. Actually, I actually think you pay for all resources. Can you destroy cover, draw a card, and go again? But card draw, that's always mm, powerful. That's always powerful, yeah, definitely. Oh, it's because you don't discard your hand. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, I'm, we're going so slow. I'm sorry, people. I'm just not at all used to it, and I'm very impressed by the product. I promise I'll speed up a bit here. Nobody wants to have to watch an hour of us rambling and watching cards, especially not from an old set that everybody else has already opened. But this is a wow factor for us. This is so cool to see. It's fun to open a completely different kind of product. But I do feel that we're getting like, um, yeah, a nice amount of Majestics. And of course, there will always be more commons, but there are, you're playing more commons in your deck. Don't you find that? Yeah. A, a lot of the deck, at least in these pre-constructed ones, are actually commons as well. So they're not as useless as they feel in Magic. No, exactly. And, and also because you have these three different colors and you can have, I think it's two or three of each color uh, in a deck, you're going to use a lot of those common cards also. Yeah, which I like also, Ken, yeah. because again, otherwise, I mean, common cards in, Dama, in Magic is, is just like, it's bulk. And you have so much bulk. Okay, another Majestic. Yeah, I don't know, it's is this good? It's a bit wasteful to just print a lot of cards that you know from the get-go nobody's ever going to 
to play, like that giant ox 0 4 Oh, don't even mention it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you just had it in so many sets. Like, yeah, I'm, in win. I'm interested in knowing. If, I wonder if every comment. Oh, that's beautiful. That's pretty. That's a, oh, yeah, that's the token, the one that um, yeah. Lexi can generate. Yeah. As far as I remember. Oh, and that, uh, wow, that's, oh, there you go. There's mm. the ranger weapon, the dread boar. <laughs> so, hey, maybe I'm you're so destined to play ranger. Much closer to my ranger class now. But yeah, I wonder if every card here has like, ha has a deck or a home, because I mean, there must be some sort of more bulkier cards. I think there is. Some of those brute cards in the Rhino deck, wow. they were definitely, you know, l less good comments. Mm. But I'm hooked. I think it's fun. And I think that you seem hooked already. You're like Googling deck techs. Yeah, and I want to build a deck. Yeah. So that's definitely going to be fun to see um, what kind of deck you're interested in making. What do you think you're be going to? You're mostly into the Ranger. Yeah, I think I'm going Maybe to. Maybe I'm going to have to build one myself. Oh, look at that. High Striker. But different colors. Oh. And this one is in rainbow foil. Oh, I saw this. Another T bone. A Salia deck. And I like but it a lot. Isn't, yeah, she but you couldn't buy the hero as Salia, so it's like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. so that's not an option. No. Or, or maybe it will become an option in the future, I don't know. but Yeah, but I'm also interested in... Okay, now I'm just getting hooked. I'm also interested in seeing what Uprising is compared to Everfest. Mm. Because Everfest feels sort of, you know, bright and fun and carnival, freak show, side show sort of thing. Um, where Uprising looks a lot darker and has a lot of the draconic and fire. Now I'm just speaking purely from what I've seen on the box. But it looks like a more dark and also the name Uprising. Okay, wow, another Majestic. People, are we getting a lot of Majestics? I feel like we are, but I don't know if that's the average. Because this is, a, I mean, a lot. Yeah. And a lot of them are actually, you know, in foil, so... Okay, this is the second to last pack, and I am going to pace myself a bit for you guys. Wow. Subtle foiling on that one, but still very nice. I also oh, like the more, rare. you know, grown up kind of vibe, vibe to, to these cards. Yeah, uh, yeah. More, more dark than, than the magic cards. And I actually like that. I think, yeah. Yeah, you like the whole. A bit more of yeah, grown up theme. Yeah, yeah, I, I, get, I get what you mean. Definitely has more of a, like a grown up vibe to it. And these are two latest rares. So, people, let us know in the comments did we get a lot of. Majestics, I feel like we did a lot of them. Are they good? Are they good? Are they any <laughs> nice? Should he be playing some of these? If he's going to make a ranger or a... What was the mechanologist? Yeah. Okay, yeah. We'll cool. see. Well, people, thanks for hanging out again. And we will love to see you soon again. And we will definitely be trying to build some deck of our own from Flesh and Blood and see how that works out. And moving away from the pre-constructed kindergarten we've been in and seeing how all these other different types of cards play out. So thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give the video a like and please subscribe. See you next time.